hi there students to repatriate a verb repatriation a noun the noun doing the verb the doing of the verb and I'm also going to look at patriation which is rather different and also I'm going to look at the difference between to re repatriate and to deport okay so to repatriate means to send somebody or something as well back to the country that um, they came from so um, the prisoners of war were repatriated after the war they were sent home they were sent back to the country where they they actually came from so to repatriate to send home to send back home the refugees were repatriated okay now now we come to the question of deport or repatriate so to deport is to take somebody out of your country and send them by force to another country so firstly to repatriate it doesn't say if this is voluntary or not and to deport means to take out of your country you don't necessarily send somebody back to their home country um, now um, politicians use p repatriate instead of deport um, because um, it, it has a much more positive meaning to repatriate you repatriate the idea of repatriate is send home somebody who really wants to go home to deport means to make somebody leave a country even though they don't want to so we have the idea of forced repatriation of refugees you put them on a plane and you send them home yeah and that I don't think is a very nice thing to do so um, she was repatriated uh, because she didn't have a visa you can also repatriate things um, so for example um, du uh, during a war very often um, important uh, historical items and antiquities and antiques are stolen and then maybe there's a legal case to repatriate these objects so for example the Elgin marbles yeah the Elgin marbles look them up um, I think they ought to be repatriated to Greece yeah they're the frieze the design around the top of the Parthenon um, okay so to repatriate to send something back home you can also use to repatriate in uh, financial terms yeah meaning to send money back to um, your own country so a company may have branches uh, in many all over the world and um the repatriation of profits in these uh, overseas branches to send them back to the country of, or the main country of the company where it is founded yeah very often there are tax extra taxes involved in uh, repatriation of profits okay patriation patriation is I think quite an interesting one um Patriation is a political process where a government takes uh, control of their country, it's full independence, um, particularly to patriate a constitution. So until 1982, for example, Canada, um, the uh, British Parliament had the right to change the Canadian Constitution but uh, in 1982 the Canadians patriated its constitution okay it took it back from the UK and they reserved the right to uh, f full independence independent of the UK I think Australia patriated its com its constitution in 1986 now this verb 
repatriation was actually coined or invented by the Canadians but it's from the idea of repatriation to bring something back to where it came from so to repatriate to send home to send a person back to their own country to repatriate artworks museum exhibits to the country of origin yeah um, I think many of the things stolen during the Gulf War should be repatriated to Iraq where they originally came from and then to repatriate profits to send them back home <clears throat> okay so formality to repatriate I'm gonna give it a 6 6.5 in formality repatriation as well um, use it in a semi formal conversation I think informally to send back home uh, informally um, and then this word patriation or to patriate this is more formal I think this is more le uh, international law I think I'd probably give it a 7.5 okay as to origin it comes from Latin re patriare re, re patriare yeah um, re again and patria the homeland so go back to the homeland so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon bye for now repatriate repatriation patriate patriation and deport <laughs>